Welcome back to Terraria 1.3. So we're about to do a pumpkin moon. So let's craft up the uh, pumpkin moon medallion here. And we're just gonna fight him right here. I don't have any arena set up. So I wanna see with uh, the pretty good equipment we have if we can get really far in the pumpkin moon. So let's see here, what do we want? Get rid of that. And I might keep the boots on. Or maybe we'll do that, that might be better. But, we got a candle here. We got the birds all ready to go. And that should be good. Now, I want to talk about the final boss. Because obviously there's a final boss. And I've seen glimpses of him. And it's pretty crazy. It's pretty uh, destructive. I looked up on uh, arenas about him. And I think pre patch this arena idea I had might have been good. Where I was going to use one arena and then teleport heal at the nurse if I needed to and then go back to arena but from what I heard that this boss will instantly teleport you unlike other bosses uh, which won't do that and I feel like the best way we're gonna fight this dude is probably just do what we've been doing for most bosses and that's to man up and figure it out like Plantera Golem wasn't too bad but Plantera we're gonna need to do a little bit of the uh, circling we did Pretty much, we, we did a lot of circling for some bosses. I guess, yeah, we did it for Fish Ron, too. I'm trying to think of the bosses. We just completely made a joke of, uh... What's his face? The one we fought recently. Oh, shit. Is all my stuff over there? All my stuff is over there to the right, I think. No, it is. God damn it. Is it nighttime yet? What's considered nighttime? Is that eight? Is it considered nighttime? I have no clue, but... We're going to do this and then Frost Moon for the next episode and then we should be finishing up the series after that. Maybe I'll give it like five more episodes when this uh, series is done. Because I think I might have a cool idea for a finale. Other than the final boss itself. But I oh, here we go. don't want to waste time. Still going through all this sucks. Okay, there you go. I I don't know what was happening, but it wouldn't even shoot upwards. But now I got it to shoot upwards. And let's just, holy shit, look how many there are over here. Look how many there are over here. It's time to make a mockery of you guys. You guys ever been sliced up before? Oh, we have the little wave thing in the bottom now. This makes life, like, really easy. I'm not gonna activate a potion or anything yet. We're gonna go with flare on right now. Because this is getting work done faster than everything else. Get that dude. Get that dude. Alright, we're already 4% done with the next wave. I don't really anything we want from this. Well, I guess a pumpkin sword would be nice, but I don't think we really, we're gonna get it that easily. But let's see what we can get done here. Wave 3 and night barely just started. Uh, we already got morning wood. And, uh, I'll start, I'll start buffing potions. I have a couple potions. Not much. I will, I will battle potions though. Right, we gotta watch out for you dogs. So these guys can actually swing. They can actually swing. Now this sword is awesome. Like look at the look how many like shots are being fired from the sword right now. They come in different angles. It's really cool. I uh, already killed 50 scarecrows. Holy shit! That was easy work of scarecrows. Where the hell is Morning Wood at? It's around here somewhere. Yeah, we already like made it to uh. Oh shit! There he is. There he is. We already made it to another two ways before Morning Wood actually showed up. All right, I'm a buff now. I do have another regen potion, but I only have one of every other potion. I, I, I don't even have a bunch of potions. But our DPS is already, like, really good to even be worrying about uh, taking damage from him. Or not really taking damage from him, but worrying, worrying about dealing damage to him. Got enough DPS for it. And uh, we're just going to use the flare on to the greatest extent we can. Just summoning a billion bubbles. This is crazy. Oh, there's two of them. All right, we, gotta, we gotta watch out a little bit more. I got rid of the uh, hatchet. I probably should keep that around, though. No, we, we can, we can, I can deal with this. I can deal with this big guy right here. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to my birds. I'm trying to get my birds going. Start wave six. Uh, with the items you get now, you can definitely get to wave uh, 15. Legit. Even though you were able to do it in the past. Uh, it's not too bad now. Alright, we're gonna have to be careful here. Because this dude can actually do some work. Whoa, why did I stop flying? I'm gonna take a lot of damage because of that. Alright. We're gonna see if we can take out Pumpkin King here. 
Oh my god, we're taking a lot of damage. We should really do this. This shouldn't be too bad of a problem. It's just the fucking dude down here is messing me up. The damn, uh... I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Good morning, wood. This is my this is messing my groove up. But uh, shouldn't be shouldn't be too bad of a problem. Hopefully he doesn't like be spawn being off him. That's DPS right there. That's DPS right there. What of it, pumpkin? Oh, hey, watch out there. I don't, I don't respect that trying to interrupt my fight. Damn wyvern. Oh, holy shit! He came all the way down here. He wants some of this. Hey, you watch out. What a fucking asshole. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find our pumpkin. Oh, we ended up at my other arena somehow. I don't know how we did that. I guess I was just flying away. My other arena isn't really that far either. Get out of here. I'll take that. I'll take that healing any day. Alright, so let's go and get back already. Alright. Oh, we got this. UFO. This is the best way I see to do this. Just... just Streak backwards like this. Let the bubbles do its work. I only hit 27 damage. Oh, watch out for those. Those, hit, those are the things that hit really hard. Fucking wyverns. Can they shoo away, please? Still gotta keep a pretty good distance because he can still hit us. From pretty far, but not too far. I just don't just want to stay far away enough to where his, uh, his little sides and stuff can't hit me. Oh, that's hitting me. That's, uh... A little bit more distance. But let's look at our DPS there. Like sometimes we'll hit for a couple, barely tip the thousands right there as we just did. But uh, it does. It's a lot of DPS. This Flareon is really good. The fact that it has its homing bubbles makes it even better. And uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the pumpkin is the one that drops the Horseman Blade. Don't give me a fucking raven stuff. Are you kidding me? What kind of terrible joke is this? But we're not exactly what we can call tanky enough to just like. Barrage through these that easily. We do have some tankiness to us, not a lot, but just uh, just enough to be able to take a couple shots every now and then. I feel like, I still feel like Mage is the easiest class in the game, just because of the life steal. And uh, you know, a while, a long time ago, the Vampiric Blades got knifed on warriors, and it's just like warriors. You gotta rely a whole lot on uh, juking and maybe out DPSing as fast as possible or just building warding and getting as much defense as possible that's how warriors go uh i feel like for mages it's it's dps and sustainability and then for rangers it's dps and then uh, summoners are kind of sustainability too because you gotta be you gotta sustain pretty good to be a summoner hey we got a trophy we're not being on wave 15 is that a glitch or is that like added in recently you can get trophies before wave 15. I thought trophies were only allowed to be gotten on wave 15. Right now, I'm just focusing on him because he's the one I only care about. So unless he find get that horseman blade, even though we probably won't use too much of it. Maybe I'll find a reason to use it in the uh, next event. We got, a, we got a problem on our hand here. Yeah. He fucking just juggled us right there. I couldn't get out of that. There was no way I could have got out. I guess I could have used a rod at Discord, but... I wasn't thinking, I was just thinking about trying to get out of it as is. Drop 51 gold for that. No, come on. We're not going to have enough time to kill another one, I don't think so. Let's be lucky. I hear one to the right. Where you at? Right. We'll see if I can do enough damage to him. I might be able to. We don't got a lot of time, though. We'll just fly, like, all the way to the left. Now, I want to drop down and then fly back to the right is what I want to do. Ooh, we're close. We're close to him. I'm just going to... Pay attention to the DPS. See if we can get a bunch of bubbles going. Oh, oh, we're back at this arena. Okay, we're just gonna go straight up, turn around. Oh, get away from here, you fucking asshole! Oh shit, we can't dash in this. We can't dash in this. We're good to go. We're good to go. Yeah, we might be able to kill one. This guy to end it off. We're gonna attack my another one. I just want to kill some of the ground mobs. Yee! Jesus. That hurt. Can I buff too while I'm at it? Yeah, I can do it. This is a kill right here. This is another. Let's see. Can I yo yo him? Let me yo yo you. Yeah. And. Alright, well, we got two pumpkin swords from that, so it's not terrible. Uh oh. 
Take water, come down here. I just want to kill morning wood. Kill morning wood. Kill morning wood. Hashtag kill morning wood. All right, no, fuck it. We'll just kill another pumpkin, I guess. we we'll probably probably uh, get enough damage out to kill another one. Because we actually still got a good watch. Ooh, let's not. I don't want to. Yeah! Stop it! Oh my god. Got me there with that, like, double. Double down on the sides. Alright. We got a healing potion. We'll use it. Here we go. I'm not actually putting out that much damage. <laughs> Alright, what about this? What about this? What about this? Switch to the fucking sword. Holy shit. What about that? Is that more damage? That is more damage. Oh, this is ten times better. Why haven't I thought of this yet? Look at this. We're just slicing through them now. Oh my god. What the hell? Why didn't I use this yet? <laughs> oh my god. Stop giving me this. Oh shit, we're over our house. Oh no. No, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh my god, rest in peace my whole entire fucking family that I live with here. Alright, so yeah, this, this sword is actually really good. I underestimated this sword during that fight because I'm like, yo, flare on, homing, easy win. But then this sword is just like, hey, I'm here too, I'm pretty good. This thing is crazy. This is. I love how many you can shoot out at once, it's so good. And the fact that it, like, does another, like, hit when it comes back, when you actually hit something and it does another attack, that's, that makes it even better. But let's see here. I want to actually see the DPS. Uh, who should I talk to? Which one do you And then you guys even have the DPS thing in here. Where'd I move? I moved down here. Alright, let's see here. Like, it doesn't even tell you, really, because it doesn't do the, uh, the sideways swords and stuff like that. But I can still get up to nearly... A thousand, just like that. I don't even have like this on. If I have this on, then I might be able to. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do hit a thousand with that. All right. So let's throw the gold we got. <laughs> we got three pumpkin trophies. These things you never used to be able to ever see because of Wave 15. And we got a new pet finally. We got a new pet. Welcome to the family, Spider. Welcome to the family. Pets don't go in there. I guess I can put it in here. So, what I'm gonna do for the rest of this episode, I feel like I wanna purify the world and uh, get rid of all the evils that are in it. And uh, this might, may or may not be a good idea. Because Charles will give us. Well, okay, I guess that's bad. But let's get the contaminator. Let's go, time! We got this green solution here. We're just gonna run through the uh, top of the world and uh, try and. Salutify. That's not a word. Try and get rid of all the uh, tall loading corruption. We obviously don't want to use everything here on this area. So we'll head on up to uh, da, 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 da. other place, the corruption now. Which is not too far past the jungle. And uh, we'll start purifying that too. We got our boy, the uh, Gaboto, the witch doctor. Had to go in another world to buy the green solution, unless I wanted to kill the truffle. And I did not want to kill the truffle at all, because that's, that's rude. Because uh, green solutions only sold when no other solutions are being sold. Sadly. Now, this will probably spread again way, way, way over time. But I don't think we're going to be on this world for too much longer, so... I don't think it should matter too much. Look at this. We're just getting right through it. Getting right through it. These sunflowers get to bloom again. I remember when I planted those. You fucking asshole. So we have the raven now, just because the raven does actually do more damage. Oh, this looks so weird when you do this part of the corruption. Like the legit corruption part. Get the hell. We'll uh, squirt a little bit down here. Oh, that sounds disgusting. We'll put a little bit of down here. A little bit of this uh, down here. Really quick. Can I? Okay, that's beautiful. Alright, get a little bit of in the cracks. Maybe not all the cracks, but get in some of the cracks. And there we go. We'll just go like this. We'll go like this, and this should get. All of it, well, at least pretty far stream of it downwards. Boom, bada, bing, we're set to go. Dash right under that guy, ignore him completely. Now, hopefully, uh, there won't be any crimson fishing quests that need to be done. Because I'm a nice person and I want to purify the world of all evil. And this fisherman is going to be a jerk and he's going to be like, hey, I want this exotic fish from the crimson. And I'll be like, fuck you. That was actually right there that. 
meteorite we just passed in the banners. Uh, that was where I fished, and that was also where I tried, attempted to, uh, just, I think it was good. Attempted to farm the, what was it, Crimson Knives? Yeah, Crimson Knives for the Vampiric Blades. Because I really wanted it. Let's just check down here, though. Yeah, see, there's a little bit down here. We'll do a quick spray through, not much, though. Just a little quick spray through, and then we'll head to the other side. And see if I can accomplish anything over there. Let's go! I want to talk about this dude, the, uh, Skull, what is it, Skulltix Brain Scrambler? Brain Scrambler. Summons a Skulltix mount. This thing's fucking awesome. This is a, one of the coolest mounts in the game. And uh, if you're playing on normal mode and can take on a Martian invasion pretty early, you know, actually, I don't know when they spawn. But if, as soon as you beat Golem in normal mode, I recommend getting this. It may not be the greatest in extra mode. We want to be careful when we stop by here. Uh oh. Let's not do that. But this thing is awesome, other than that. It's just it's so quick. If you, if you want that speed, I don't even think there's any more corruption. If you want that speed, though, you got it right here. The Skulltix uh, brain, brain Scrambler mount. If I can even say that, it's like scrambling my brain right now. Wait, what are we talking about again? It's me and my trusty steed here, and my beautiful influx waver sword. You like this die trader? I don't even want some of this. 